what is the sort of prospect for containment? So we've seen in China, they just shut down their movie theaters again, which would suggest that obviously they are not completely sanguine about the prospects for coronavirus over there. Uh, we, we've also seen the possibility of second wave infections in places like Hong Kong and, and Singapore and Taiwan. Uh, even if we let ourselves out from this generalized lockdown that's happening across the country, how confident are we that when we do that, there won't be a second wave of cases? And how can we mitigate the possibility of that? Well, that's really an important question. So what's happening in China right now is they're getting imported cases. So exactly what's happening to them is what happened to the rest of the world two and three months ago. And it's very interesting how everybody's reacting to it. I mean, they're shutting down things and saying people don't come into our country. And then very early in the epidemic, when the rest of the world was saying that, even the head of WHO said, well, we shouldn't stop air transport and traffic. And so it's very interesting. China has come around to the way the Europe and the United States is looking at it because they don't want new cases coming into China. So um, everybody understands now how this has moved around the world. We have not seen second waves in, this, in the sense that sometimes in epidemics you'll have a first wave and a second wave internal to the country. What people are worried about now are receding new new cases from outside. And I think that's what we remain very vigilant on. And so in the United States, we're tracking county by county to really understand what's happening at the most granular level, because then you can really laser focus the kind of mitigation that each single county needs in each single state in order to be really focused on what needs to occur. So how exactly does the coordination go on in the White House between the public health team and the team that's more focused on the economic side? So the, the, the administration has come in for criticism for suggesting we have to reopen the economy, which is bizarre because presumably everyone wants to reopen the economy. Only the question is when and how, which are, of course, the big questions. So how does that coordination go on? Because if you're a public health official, I would assume that your sole goal at this point is shut this thing down, shut it down as long as possible. And at the same time, you know, there are health consequences and the economy is real. People, millions of people losing their jobs this week. How do those needs get balanced out? How does that conversation go at the White House? Well, the good news is both the economic group and the public health group are meeting together every day. And what's been really seamless to me is both are using data. So they're used to looking at data in very real time. We're used to looking at data in real time. So we both very much appreciate what each person's bringing to the table. And those are really the critical dis discussions. I think you think, or see early on, we were using really blunt instruments. And what do I mean by that? We were bringing in everything. Let, you know, This is what closing the schools does. This is what social distancing does. This is what washing your hands multiple times a day. This is what probably the most important thing, if I could leave with your listeners, is don't touch your face because you forget where your hands have been. You've touched things, a toy, a knob, a this, a that. And now we know hard surfaces actually can maintain the virus. And so the teams working are working together in a very seamless way because they understand the data that each other's is pre presenting at the table. So that's been really helpful in bringing people together. Thank you for tuning in to The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the country. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.